Okay, so I just had to stack an inordinate amount of stuff because whenever I press record, my camera zooms in so much and I'll have to mess with it to see if I can't figure this out. Okay, so I might have to just throw the hair up halfway through because I know people are like, ew, you're eating and then you're touching your hair. Um, so I do have food, but I'm a very odd eater. So I have a bag of tortilla chips next to me. I'm trying to show you guys my food. So I have a burrito. Inside the burrito is white rice, salsa, and corn. And then I just have some salsa and corn to dip in my tortilla chips. And I have um, hot sauce mixed in to all of this. And of course a, I don't know what this is, a liter, 1.2 liters of Diet Coke. Cause that's my drink of choice. And I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna try to eat. I feel like it's weird eating and trying to talk at the same time and it's not really, yeah. Anyway, if it grosses you out, my bad. But I wanna tell you guys the story of the first time um, not me and my boyfriend's first date, but I want to say how we met and how that kind of um, started because I did make a whole video on it on this tablet that I had, but it was terrible. Like this will probably be terrible, but I needed to eat. I was like literally starting to like feel shaky from not eating. Okay, so I just gleeked. I didn't even know that was a word, but spit. Anyway, so we have been together now for exactly one year, a year and two days or a year and whatever, but we met actually in fifth grade. He was one of my best friends. And it's funny because the house that we live in now is right down the street from the school that we met in. So we're super special, but it just seems so nuts how things just like, fall into place I don't know why I feel the need like I have to hurry up and eat and get the story done because if I start choking mm -mm, so I really get so happy when I eat like I always just start shaking my shoulders or like oh oh it's so good um anyway so the grocery store that I used to work at that I just quit my job from is where we met again and the crazy part is I had just had an interview at a different store, got the job, was going through the interview process. Basically, they were taking so long. I had an interview with um, this last store within the same week. And the manager there at the time hired me right on the spot. So I said, fuck this other place. I'm taking this job. Started this job. And it was about two months later that he had started. And I was still very not talkative. I didn't really talk to anybody at work. It was all girls and they were just kind of like, eh. But I see him come in and he is talking to one of um, the assistant managers and walking around. So my first thought was, man, this motherfucker is going to be like an assistant manager. This is what, because he was always very smart. He always had that look to him and you could tell like he just looked like a nerd. I don't give a fuck. Look like a nerd. So I'm just like, ma'am, he's going to be like one of my bosses or something. And I could tell that he was like kind of like looking at me, you know, whenever you think you remember somebody from back in the day. And... He comes up to me and I probably sounded so mean, but I swear I did not mean to be, but he just goes, um, is your name? And I go, I just immediately go, Matthew, I know who you are. <laughs> like didn't have to miss a beat. I'm just like, yes, I know who you are. We went to school together. Uh, mm. I'll try to show you guys, but it's such a mess. I told you guys, if I can put it in a burrito, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> um. so it was probably like a good month before we actually started talking and he would just kind of say things here and there to me or if we were working on a palette together we talk a little bit and I would always get rides home for my coworkers if we closed together because I didn't want to walk home. I would because I live right down the street, but when I lived in the apartment, but um, I didn't like to walk. And I guess one night he had asked if I needed a ride home. So he gave me a ride home that night and it kind of just went from there. So after a while, I literally just stopped asking him for rides and just followed him to his car because we would always close together. And... I don't really recall, there wasn't any big conversations we had at work, but it's so funny because I remember the exact day that he asked me out and I didn't even know that he was going to ask me on this date, right? 
So we're doing a palette in the freezer section. So I went up the freezer and he kind of walks past me and I remember thinking to myself, I was like, he's so cute. I was like, I would probably date him. I probably thought a little bit more than that because I, you know, but I was just like, oh, he's so cute. And so we get in the car or whatever. And it was so funny. Or I'll just, I'll tell you the story, then I'll kind of backtrack. So we get in the car. Uh, we're driving. I couldn't tell you what we talked about. I think it said something about his cousin. Um, but we really didn't talk much in the car because I didn't know what to talk about. I knew our interests were so different. I knew that he, I didn't know this at the time, but I was about 95% sure that he was a virgin. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I don't know how to relate to that. Like I would be friends with anybody, but whenever... Not that I'm raunchy or crazy when I talk. I probably do say some fucked up shit though just out of like nervousness. So whenever you're hanging out with somebody that you know that like really doesn't doesn't drink, has never smoked, has never done really anything fucked up in their entire life, it's kind of hard to relate, you know what I mean? So I get out of the car. God, of course my nose is going to start running because of the hoot and soos. Uh I'm the daintiest of the eaters, of course. But I get out of the car and I had to turn around and bend over and grab my purse. So as soon as I bend over and grab my purse, he was just like, oh, and it makes me like, it's like the cutest fucking thing ever. And pardon me. If I burp, I burp. Like there's just no, okay, I'm drinking Diet Coke, but bend down to get my purse. And he's like, can I ask you something? And I am just such a bro. So I'm just like, yeah, what's up? He's like, would you, and I see, I can't remember if he said, would you want to go on a date? I think he just said, would you want to do something sometime? Because if he said date, I wouldn't have even thought of, like, either way, I didn't think anything of it. And I just, I, mean, I just go, yeah, sure, what do you want to do? Because I just have, I've always been friends with dudes. I just, I never really think that way of going on a date. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, dude, what do you want to do? You know, I probably sounded so goofy. <clears throat> and he, he just goes, oh, well, I didn't think I'd get that far. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's cute. But, um, and I was like, well, just let me know. And then he ended up, I guess, we went from there, and he talked to me on uh, my or, um, MySpace, Facebook, and he was like, I think the next time we're both off together is Monday, so we can bank on Monday. So I'm like, okay. But I literally, when I got out of the car after he had asked me out, I was just like smiling from ear. I thought it was the sweetest fucking thing. I have never been asked on a date like that, or had anybody be nervous to ask me on a date, because I was hanging out with these like fucking douchebags that all we did was get drunk all the time. Like, there was no romance, you know? I think me and Tyler went on a date once to Quiznos and he accidentally knocked like an entire pitcher of soda on my lap. But it was never like, we were so young when we started dating, there wasn't ever like cutesy, you know, maybe a few times, but like I said, never had anybody really truly ask me that. And of course I was going to go. So as soon as he uh, told me that, asked me. I immediately go text my best friend. Marietta, who is my best friend. I I just need to start saying names because who fucking cares? My best friend's name is Marietta. So I text her and she's like, oh, that's so sweet. But I can tell she's like giggling. I tell my friend Amanda and she's like, are you actually going to go? I'm like, of course I'm going to go. I said I would go. Why would I not? So he kept thinking that I was going to, and he tells me this later on, he kept thinking that I was going to like break the date or tell him like, oh, never mind, that I was just being nice. And I was like, I was just so fucking mean. So we have our date and I'm so, so nervous. And I'm mostly nervous because like I said in the beginning, I don't know what we're gonna talk about. I'm like, I have no clue because we had really never talked other than it literally from the car ride home to get to my apartment takes maybe 30 seconds. Like there is no, okay, maybe like a minute, but there's, there's no like full on conversation that was said. Um, and I knew that we were gonna go to the movies. So, he doesn't have a phone at the time. The only reason that he got a cell phone was to talk to me. That's why he has a phone now. I don't know how people don't have, live with cell phones, but he was always like, I never had anybody to talk to. I'm like, could you be any more fucking cute? Bro. Well, honestly, you guys can let me know in the future. If you're just like, we don't, you don't need to be eating while you're talking. You can just like tell a story because it doesn't really bother me whenever I watch people's videos and they do that, but I don't know. I'm hungry. I just not the point. <laughs> so anyway, the day of the date. I'm nervous. Of course I want to look good. Probably spent about a good two hours getting ready. <clears throat> as per usual. Um, 
I'm texting my best friend. She's like, she's like, calm down. She's like, just chug a beer. It'll all be good. So literally we're supposed to be leaving in like 30 minutes. I run. Oh yeah. Okay. So he had to drop me off of my, oh, sorry. He had dropped me off of my apartment before, but he never actually saw which one was mine. So that's why I got confused for a second. But I literally ran to the store, this like liquor store that's like right in the middle of these apartment complexes, grab two tall boys. I chug one, um, which pretty much just to take the edge off. I wasn't drunk at all, but I was just like, okay, because I didn't want to be all nervous and weird because I feel like that would have just made him more weird. And I got a water bottle and I poured it in there just to have, just in case. So it starts, to, it's sprinkling, whatever. And I guess he, I just walked outside because I think we were supposed to leave at like five. So I knew he didn't have a phone. So I just look outside. I open my apartment door and look outside. He's all the way at the end of the sidewalk with an umbrella. And I just start kind of laughing and he walks up. He's like, I didn't know which one was yours. I'm like, I know. So he puts the umbrella over my head the entire time we walked to the car. And then we're kind of just sitting there. He's like, oh, I didn't know where you'd want to eat. And I couldn't tell you, didn't know what to say because I knew that he was going to want to pay for it and I didn't want to go somewhere expensive. Well, my best friend works at a restaurant right down um, the road, maybe like three blocks away. And he mentioned it and I'm like, yes, Marietta works there. Let's go there. And that like made me feel a little bit more at ease. So we get to the restaurant and I'm, you know, it's so funny because whenever we were eating, you know how I say I usually am very bad with eating food in public? I think it was because my best friend was there. She's a server there and it's a very small place. So... And her husband, actually, my best friends, they work together. He made the food. So it put me a little bit more at ease. Eating there, it's not that bad. Um, and she sees me and she knows that it was my date. So she's like laughing. She's like, oh, hey, guys. You know, so that definitely made me feel so much better. You know what, guys? I could not tell you what we talked about. I think we talked about like junior high. Because we did go to junior high together, but we didn't actually talk. Like we weren't really friends. Um, so I think we did talk about fifth grade. Um, that's really about it. And then by the time we were done eating, we had an hour to kill before we went to the movies. So. <laughs> There's only a few. Two theaters in my town. And I thought we were gonna go to the cheap one because that's where I go. I don't know why anybody would spend. Theaters are nuts, nuts, Um, but. I'm like, we have an hour to kill, and I don't know why I said let's go to this bar. So, because I knew that there was a pool table there. I don't remember why I know this. I don't know who I went there with, but tiny, tiny dive bar, biker bar, tiny as fuck. They sell like cans of beer for 50 cents, like Milwaukee's best for like 50, 75 cents. I didn't end up drinking because I felt like I didn't want to make him feel uncomfortable because I knew he couldn't drink or wasn't going to because he had to drive. And it was so funny because last time I went to this bar, they played like really good music. I love 80s rock, a lot of that stuff. So I really liked it. But we start playing pool and they are playing the most raunchiest rap song I've ever heard in my life. I've never heard this on the radio. I don't know what in God's name, but I was cracking up because it was like, I want to fuck you. <laughs> like or That's not rap. That's like, um, but the way he was rapping is like, I'm a, I'm a fuck you in the ass or something. And I was just like, wow, here we are. This is what I am into, like, you know, and then I had to go to the bathroom, I'm on the bathroom doors, no joke, a notebook paper written, one said cock, one said pussy, and they're just over the bathroom door, and I'm like, well, this is great, <laughs> I'm glad that I, we stopped here, so we played pool, we ended up going to the movie theater, we ended up seeing um, Civil War, is that like a, a variation of the Avengers movies, you guys? I don't watch any of that stuff. He is like majorly into that. I'm not. Like he loves like Guardians of the Galaxy and all that stuff. Super was not into it. Um, and I felt so bad, but because, you know, I'm a smoker. More of a social smoker. I usually only smoke with my girlfriend. She comes over like every Monday night. That's literally like the only time that I smoke cigarettes. But I do. I smoke. Sorry, my bad. You can hate me if you want. But I was just, I had so many nerves. So we sit down and I'm just like, I'm going to go outside and smoke. And I don't know, like, I felt bad to say that because I didn't want him to be, like, grossed out by me or anything like that. But he's like, no, I'll go with you. And I just remember I kept apologizing. He's like, it's fine. I don't care. Um, and <clears throat> so we get out of the movie theater. And it's still pouring down rain. Oh. And mind you, there was a point... When he first picked me up at the apartment, every time we had to get in and out of the car, excuse me, I have food energy. Every time 
we got in and out of the car, he would get out first, walk around and open my door. Every single time. Or if we had to get back in, he would open my door. And whenever he was doing that, before we went to the restaurant, he goes, he goes, oh, my mom told me to do this. And then he go, he just stops and he goes, I don't know why I just said that. And I thought it was adorable. But, um, so we get out of the movie theater and it's still pouring down rain. And for some reason, he parked the farthest away that he could possibly park. But he has the umbrella over me the entire time. We get in the car and I'm like nervous because I know I'm like, fuck, it's raining. He's going to want to walk me to my apartment door. I think even if it wasn't raining, he would have. But I'm like, now he's definitely going to. This is going to be so awkward. Because I remember talking to my other friend Amanda about it. I'm like, I'm like, what if he kisses me or what if, you know. And I had even told Tyler about the day because at this point we weren't together by any means. We weren't dating. But I could tell he was jealous. And he's like, oh, you know, you're going to go on a date with your new boyfriend. And I'm like, he's not my boyfriend. Like. Cause it was just so weird for me. So I was to tell her, be like, shut up. He's not my boyfriend. But, um, so we get out of the car and we walk up and he has the umbrella over me and we're standing there and there's like an overpassing. So he closes the umbrella and we're just standing there. I unlock my door and I have it open. So the door's just open and we're just sitting there. And I was like, give me a hug, you know, give me a hug. And like, <laughs> and I give him a hug and I'm like, okay. I'm like, thanks. Thank you. I'll see you at work tomorrow. And he's like, okay. I don't even, like, he told me later on that he's, he's like, I was just so nervous. Because I'm like, why did you just stand there? So I gave him a hug and I'm expecting him to be like, okay, see you tomorrow. I have the door open. And I walk in the door and I turn around and he's just standing there. <laughs> he's just standing there and he's like, he's like, I'm such a, I think he said weeaboo or something. And I was just like, I just got, felt compelled to kiss him because I didn't know what else to do. So I lean over and I just like... Like, it was the briefest. I mean, I am lucky that I have decent aim because I could have, like, broken both of our noses. But I just didn't ever kiss him. And I was like, I'll see you tomorrow at work. And I literally slammed the door. And I just remember I had a piece of gum in my mouth. And I just, like, picked it up and I threw it. I picked it up later. Calm down. But I was just like, oh, like, I can't believe I just did that. And I texted my girlfriend. I texted Marietta. And I'm just like, oh, my God. This, this is what happened. We just got back. So I tell her all about it. And, um, oh. It was it from there, like, honestly. Um, I've been talking for so long, but... The next week after that, literally one week after our first date, we ended up going bowling together. Um, he dropped me off at my house, and I was getting ready to get out of the car, and I turned around, and I'm just like, you can come in if you want, like, if you don't have anything to do. And he was just like, oh, okay, like... I've just never experienced anything like that, that cute in my life. And I remember us just sitting on the couch together and we're just watching TV and he was just like, can I ask you something? And I was like, yeah, he's like, can I kiss you? And I was like, of course. <laughs> um, but then after that, all we did, we hung out every single day and all we would do is watch The Green Mile and Shawshank and laugh and um, play Mario Kart and play Aladdin. We would play the Nintendo and I don't know, I just literally went from there and <clears throat> I just, yeah, it was like the cutest thing ever, ever, ever. I'll probably get more into a... In detail. Stories, um... Because I had asked him before if he cares that I did a video on like how he was a virgin whenever we met. Mm. He doesn't care. We were going to do a Q&A, which we can still do if you guys want to hear it, but... I'll probably do a story time on that. Um, but yeah, that was how we met. That was our first date. And I literally just can't believe like that it's already been a year. Like Those were like the sweetest times ever, just like sitting on the couch watching movies. Because it was so new. You know, it was so cute. Like I've just never really experienced something that... Um, I was so delicate. Um, what's the word? It's not immature. Like, not raunchy? I don't know, like, innocent, that's the word, innocent, like, there was no pressure, I didn't have to, I don't know, I didn't have to act any certain way, like, we were just, like, goofy, and I do remember the first time we hung out, though, I did drink, like, an entire 12-pack of beer, and we watched Jackass, and I wanted to go lay down, so I laid down, and he sat next to me, because I guess he was gonna leave, and I like forced his arm around me and I just passed out. And it was so funny because later on he was like, I didn't know what to do. He's like, I thought you were going to try to have sex with me. <laughs> and I was like, what do I look like? Like, what do you think I am? Oh. Mm -mm. 
So funny. But I am gonna go. I'm full. Um, just wanted to share that with you guys because it's going on nine o'clock. So I'm gonna get his dinner ready. And if you guys have any requests, like I asked, or yeah, like I said, any questions? I'll see you guys. Bye.